that like we look at the things that that make us different the small 0.001% of things that make us different and neglect the 99.99999% of things that make us the same we're all so similar in so many ways that the more we can focus on that, I think the more confident people will be in their ability to succeed because rather than being like, well, I'm different than that person, or I'm different than that person, or I'm different than that person because I can't do what they did, they'll be like, you know what, like I'm, I'm almost exactly the same. <laughs>
a lot of times what happens is initially people are very resistant to being on point over the weekends to maybe continuing tracking their calories over the weekends to maybe like being okay saying you know what like I'm going to stick with my calories today. I'm not going to indulge today. When they when they aren't making progress, I always challenge them. And I, usually what I'll do is this. I'll say, let's try this. Just for this one weekend, just this one time, just this one weekend, stick to your calories, stick to your protein, track your calories. Like, that's it, just this one time. Almost always, like nine out of 10 times. We'll call it eight out of 10 times, to be more realistic. Eight out of 10 times. If people do that and they stick to it, and then they go in on Monday and they see their progress, they see that their weight is going, that they're good, as their measurements are going down, that they have that momentum going forward, all of a sudden they're more likely to continue doing it. And all of a sudden they're like, wow, you know what? Tracking over the weekends isn't that bad and I can do it and still enjoy myself. It's not like, like a lot of times they were drinking a bunch, four, five, six drinks in a night. And then it's like, listen, I can have one or two drinks and that's good. I can drink like an adult rather than drinking like an asshole. And all of a sudden this picks up momentum. And now all of a sudden they start making progress and that progress drives more motivation and more motivation drives consistency. And this is when all of a sudden when they were having trouble before sticking to their resolution, sticking to their goals, now they're doing it. What essentially, long roundabout way, hopefully we'll like jump cut this to like take out the ums and da da da, but basically being like, if you're not making the progress that you wanted to make, if you're at a point in, your resol in the new year where you're not sticking to your resolutions, you're not going to the gym, you're not hitting your nutrition, rethink your actions and rethink, is there anywhere that I could actually do better? And if, if not, then maybe rethink your goals. Rethink, is that actually that important to me? A lot of people feel like they have to lose fat. You don't have, that doesn't have to be your goal. You can do something else. Focus on getting a stronger deadlift. Oh, Gary's calling me. One second. Hey, what's up, man? Uh, I did not see your text. Uh, I'm on my way though, what's going on? Got it, I'm about seven to nine minutes out and then I'll, I'll get you latte. Awesome. A lot of people say like, well, I don't know, I don't like, I don't know what else my goal would be. I don't like, you don't have to lose that. You don't have to, that doesn't have to be your goal. And a lot of times when you take a different focus and then you start focusing on getting stronger, you focus on being more consistent rather than focusing on trying to lose fat, a lot of times that will happen as a side effect. So long roundabout way of saying, you're gonna start getting bombarded with, are you sticking to your New Year's resolutions post? And uh, before you jump on a new program, before you think everybody else is doing really well, before you think that like, you're the only one who maybe isn't sticking to your, gui to your guidelines, your resolutions, remember you're not the only one, it's super common. And instead of being judgmental or shaming yourself, just remember that you're in control and it all starts with taking action in whatever you want to achieve. Day. ATM ate my card last night. Really? Yeah. Just like put it in and then like it didn't come up with options to do anything and then nothing happened. Oh, there you go. Sorry. Thanks. It worked out well because yesterday I was going to do back, but because it was so packed, it just would have been obnoxious. So we did the legs here and then today we'll head back. When we first started doing his back, <laughs> when I would touch his back, it was like, to the touch, awful. And I remember like when I first started rolling it, he was like, talk to me, just talk to me. Say something, say something to take the mind off the pain. Ready? Good. Don't reach for the neck, right? There we go. That's it, nice, good. Tuck your chin, yeah, there we go, good, perfect. That's it, right there, perfect. Nice, other leg. Hips back, 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 nice. You wanna try, stay on the ground, stay on the ground, honey. I'm gonna try this one, where you're here, and you sit back. That looks really good. That used to cause you serious pain. Serious. I didn't have the left hip mobility. That's exactly right. Really good. That was really good. Ready? Yeah. That's it. Boom. 
Boom, that's it. Oh, that's it. Thumbs over the bar, that's it. Hips down, that's it right there. Come on, good. Crank him out. Perfect. Come on, come on. One more, chest up, let's go. Done, nice job. Ready? Let's go, one more. between your arm and your side, that's it. Perfect. Come on, pull, yep. Good set, yeah. really well done. Re no shoulder, no trap. When he's strapped for time and we gotta go, we gotta get 30 minutes or something, I do more movements that are bilateral, two arms at the same time. If you, this is a great movement, I love it. When we have more time, it's Monday, it's a holiday, so we have more time, it's more relaxed. If we're strapped for time, gotta go, I'd rather do bat wing row, machine row, because when you have to do two different arms individually, obviously it takes more time. Bunch of different great rowing variations. Right now, I can use a little bit more time, get a little bit more single, single arm variation there, more stabilization. Honestly, really good. I've been pretty stoked with them. Yeah. Especially yeah, seeing, your, seeing your strength, how like even if we take a little bit of time off, come back like equally as strong or stronger, or using your muscles really well. You've been really mentally focused on it. I really have been. Good. A little bit of daylight. That's it, yep. Perfect. Everything is mental with him. Everything. Everything. Even things that shouldn't be mental are mental. And he goes, <laughs> he goes, I, I wore a loose shirt so I wouldn't see all my muscles because like, just like get motivated that he had to work harder. Because he wears a shirt that shows his muscles, he's like, oh, I'm good. But he wears a loose shirt, and it's like, I gotta work hard. <laughs> Not straight up, leaning back just like this. A little bit up, a little bit. Yeah. Right. A little bit. like one day. Yeah. It was really banged up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was. It was the most sensitive. I mean, it was this, this, and this. For sure. Really? Without question. Just what's nuts is like, this is right here. It's here the whole time. Yeah, and you don't even realize it. It blows my mind. So when I talk about like soft tissue work, three years into it, it was right here. I didn't know until three weeks, uh, two weeks ago. Yeah. So when people are like, oh, I don't have that, I'm like, you do. Everybody, everybody. It took us like a year-ish, a year and a half to find this on your back. To this. Get it. Last set, best set. Let's get it. Come on. Maybe another second to get stronger. Cool, yeah, yeah, take your time. I'm always fascinated by that. For this workout, which is just a little bit more strength based, you could take a minute. You know, I'm always wondering, like, you know, it's like head, like, I guess cardio is really what you're doing there a little bit, right? Yeah, it's a mix of like endurance yeah. versus more maximal strength. And like within. People, you know, when I look back, somebody like me who was really not strong and didn't really have great form, mm -hmm. like more time was smarter. That's 100% accurate, and that's a main issue with CrossFit. Things like CrossFit, like that they make, or like that class that we took, remember a long time ago, where they make you go, 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 you can't keep your technique, it's, that's why people get hurt. Jump rope for an hour. Actually, don't get jump rope. You want to jump rope? Just to get it in the system, though. Yeah. That's it. Good, just like that. Is this lighter? A little bit. Sorry, it'll catch up. I know. Last one, last one of the day. Nice job, good. Nice job, good workout, man. Ran the marathon, Houston Marathon.
marathon at 2.32. Um, Damn. I ended up finishing in like four hours and 30 minutes, which I just have a high level of pain tolerance. Like, I, And that's not a joke. I mean, I really, it was painful from, I didn't even train for it. I, I ran a lot, but I never really truly trained. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> I, for mile, yeah, I remember mile 11, um, mile 11 is when my legs gave out. And uh, I basically, from mile 11 to 26, point two it was just me hobbling uh shuffling and just i stopped at mile 20 and had a beer and shut then, the fuck up yeah i did just guzzled a beer because someone handed me a cold cold budweiser and tasted so good and then someone handed you a beer <laughs> yeah. that's a friend right there and it really it kind of exposed i guess to myself how i was in a bad way and, and interesting I myself, you know it, it really yeah when i compare when i I saw her change, and then it really made me look at myself and go, hang on a second. That's what I want to do. I want to be like that. What, I want to look at myself can, in the mirror and feel proud, you know? Can, that's a very, very, very interesting perspective, and I, I've never heard anyone say that. And this is probably one of the most interesting parts about being able, like, you, you're married. You, you live together. So you saw that change happen, and you were, you were living with it, rather than necessarily, like, only passively seeing somebody, and they would talk about it. Like, you, you were living with it. So, like... And I know you said you wanted to look at yourself and feel proud. Like, are there any specific or other more specific or any any other like? You said you mentioned mindset. Like, what was what about her mindset made you say number one? Like, what did it see, you see in yourself that you needed to address? And like, what part of the mindset did you say like I want to be like that? Well, that's good. That's a good question because it wasn't it wasn't the physical. Right, that that's the the physical is the fruit of what she was doing, right? I mean, she, she followed the plan, physically she changed, period, in the story. But when back to what I said, when I want to look in the mirror and feel proud, it was deeper than that. Like I saw in her, so to answer the question, I saw in her a a mentality change of uh, like I'm proud of myself. She's not perfect physically at all, not that's, that's established that, but. It, it's this glow, it's this smile that she had when she would, you know, look at herself knowing what she's done and knowing the, again, seeing the fruit of what she's put in, right? So it was a, it was a mentality change that I saw. It was a positive energy. Um, I don't even know what that means, right? But I, that's all, the only word I can use to describe it is an energy. How tall are you? I am six foot. So you're six foot, you're, you're what? How much do you weigh right now? I'm two, what? 227. 227. You, do you have a beard? I do. You got a big grizzly beard, right? Well, it was. It was like 16 feet long, but now I, I trimmed it down a bit. Got it. I love this, and I love how open and honest you're being right now because a lot of people would go into a gym and see fucking Rick, six foot, 227, grizzly beard, fucking big ass I dude, know. and be like, that guy like is judging me that guy is, is like looking at what i'm doing and like thinks i'm weak or that guy is this and meanwhile here you are being like i'm worried about what other people think like i've been through that and i have to consciously yep. every day remind myself that no one gives a fuck and to hear like th i guarantee you there there are going to be people who hear this who are the complete opposite end of the spectrum like like I don't know, a, a really small woman who might be intimidated to go into the to the weight section because there are so many big dudes there, right? That's a, such a common worry from a lot of women. Like, well, it's so intimidating with a lot of men in there, and for them to hear that, like, hey, the big scary men are worried about the exact same shit as you are, is very oh empowering. God, dude. I, I'm gonna see you at the Inner Circle Retreat in Austin, right? 100%, yep. Fuck yeah, awesome. Because if yeah, I know you're in Houston, so if you weren't, I would have driven down there and fucking, I would have <laughs> went rip shit. So I'm glad. I'm going to see you and Natalia there, yeah? Oh yeah, for sure. And I will talk to you soon, okay? All right, bro. Love you too, man. We'll talk to you. Bye-bye. That was a hell of a call. That was awesome.